guys, welcome back. It's the Hubbard Knight here, your Tekken Games Crusader. We have another unboxing for a Asus AX6000 speed dual band router. And this is Wi-Fi 6. And it is the RT-AX88U is the model number. This came from Best Buy. And, uh... This thing's been on back order for almost a month. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into unwrapping this first off. Because it is plastic sealed. So we can see what's underneath the sticker there. And not have so much glare on all of the uh, text and everything that's on the box. And I do have a bleach slash antibacterial wipe handy so that we can be able to wipe this thing off. So we'll get this done, we'll get started on going over what we see on the box. Alright. So, first off, we have that it shows Wi-Fi 6 certified. It is an AX6000 speed of Wi-Fi 6 wireless it is AI mesh, has AI protection, which is lifetime free security, a next gen 802.11ax, which is what the 6 gigabits bandwidth is. And it has a built in uh, 1.8 gigahertz CPU for ultra fast network speed. Double game acceleration for low ping smooth gaming. On the front, we can just see that it shows Windows 10 support, IPv6 support, two year warranty, Mac compatible. And here we have specifications. 1 gigabit WAN port, 8 1 gigabit LAN ports, 2 USB 3.0 ports, a 3G slash 4G sharing HDD sharing Samba FTF, or excuse me, FTP server and print server support has 4 detachable antennas. 256 megabytes of flash memory and 1 gigabit of DDR3 system RAM in a router, mind you. Operating frequencies is 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz, which, which is how we get the dual band. Encryptions are WPA, WPA2-PSK. WPA dash or forward slash WPA2 Enterprise WPS, which is Wi Fi protected setup, and our data rates 802.11b up to 11 megabits per second, 802.11a slash g which is up to 54 megabits per second, 802.11n, which is up to 600 megabits per second, a 1024QAM, or QAM, up to 1 gigabit, or 1000 megabits per second, rather, 
not quite a gigabit. 802.11ac at 5 gigahertz will go up to 3466 megabits per second. And then the 1024QAM up to 4333 megabits per second. 802.11ax at 2.4 gigahertz up to 1148 megabits per second. And 802.11ax AX 5 gigahertz band up to 4804 megabits per second. So how you get this at 6 gigabits per second total right here is by combining these two. And that brings you to 6 gigabits per second. AC input is 100 volts. DC output is 19 volts with max of 2.37 slash 3.42 amps and 19.5 volts with max of 2.31 amps. And then we have the size of the actual item is 300 by 188 by 60.5 millimeters. And that translates to 11.8 inches by 7.4 inches by 2.38 inches. The weight of the item inside is 2.3 or 2.23 pounds, or 1,010 grams. Package contents: We have the RTAX 88U Wi-Fi router. The has an RJ45 cable, which I'm guessing is just CAT6. Power adapter, quick start guide, and warranty card. Here are the QR codes for air mesh introduction and the official website. The app is available on both Google Play and App Store for iOS. Alright, so let's take a look and see what we have in here. Warp Speed Wi-Fi. The ASUS RT-AX88U is next generation Wi-Fi 688-802.11ax router that delivers combined dual band speeds that are up to 2.3 times faster than 802.11ac. That's up to 6,000 megabits per second. As you can see. Double acceleration for your games. The RTAX 88U's adaptive QoS prioritizes game packets for smoother online play. It also has built-in WiFat or WT Fast to seek out and secure the shortest possible path between your PC and the game server, minimizing ping times and lag. The average ping time, average packet loss is anywhere from 30 to 60% lower and 70 to 90% lower. Faster, further, future proof. The RTAX 88U pairs MU.MIMO with the latest OFDMA technology to efficiently allocate channels for multiple devices simultaneously with AI mesh technology, mm -hmm. RTAX 88U can pair with other ASUS routers to create a customized whole home mesh system. DFS channels minimize network congestion to ensure a smooth Wi-Fi connection. Mm -hmm. The upshot is fresh, 
future-proof technology for the freedom to work or play far from the router. So we have future-proof technology supports AI mesh Wi-Fi system 160 megahertz, which is up to two times higher bandwidth. DFS, dynamic frequency selection, and four times more network capacity. Commercial grade security for your home network. Mm -hmm. The ASUS RTAX 88U has lifetime free AI protection pro powered mm -hmm. by Trend Micro with automatic regular updated security signatures to protect your home network and personal data. This strong security offers advanced parental controls, including the ability to block specific websites and mobile app types. Okay. Here's our picture of the back of the router. So we have the USB 3.0. We have our WAN, we have eight one gigabit network ports, WPS button, reset button, the DC socket for power, and a power button. And then on the side, we have another USB 3.0 port. All right, without all that all the way, let's go ahead and it's got some nice padding on the inside of the top of the box. So we have having trouble, call us networking support. Put that on the inside. Rapido Silencio Configurado. In English, fast, easy setup. Prepare your modem. Connect your modem to the router with the network cable provided. Power on the modem, plug modem to the power outlet and power on. Check the LED lights of the modem to ensure the connection is active. 2. Power on your router. Plug in the power adapter and press the power button at the back of your router. Here's our light uh, layout. We have power, 5 GHz network, 2.4 GHz network, WAN, LAN, USB 3.0, USB 3.0, and WPS. Check the WAN and 2.4G slash 5G LED lights to ensure the hardware connection is ready. See the picture above. Once done, connect your PC to the router via Wi-Fi or using an additional network cable not included. Number three, log in and connect. Open a web browser. You will be directed redirected to your ASUS setup wizard. If not, navigate to http slash router.asus.com Set up the router login information. Assign unique login name and password for your router to prevent unauthorized access. And then a space below that for your security protocols. And then at the very bottom it says, if you are using DSL for internet, you will need your username, password from your internet service provider or ISP to properly configure your router. Advanced Wi-Fi helper tip. So check the driver software for wireless adapters. If you are experiencing issues connecting to your 802.11ax router, please read the following information and ensure you update the driver software for your wireless device. And that's not driver software, that's driver and or software. Please check your manufacturer's support page or contact them for further assistance in updating your wireless software. Intel wireless adapter, 
802.11.8x router. If you are currently using an Intel wireless adapter listed below, please upgrade your driver to Intel ProSet wireless Wi-Fi software version 20.7.0 or later to resolve connectivity issues to 802.11ax routers. So number two, check the model of your wireless adapter. You go to search manager in Windows or search device manager in Windows rather. Click on the network adapters and you will see the model name of your wireless adapter. Update driver version to 20.70.0 or later version. If your wireless adapter is listed in the chart above, please follow the steps below to update your wireless adapter driver for your PC or notebook. Download center.intel.com. Visit Download Center and click on Wireless Networking in Product Category. Confirm your Windows operating system first and find the driver version 20.70.0 or later. Download the corresponding driver to your PC or notebook. Check your operating system is 32-bit or 64-bit. Following the instructions to finish the installation. All right, here is a WT Fast Asus in search of incredible WTA Fast, the games gamers private network or GPN. Experience the differences, a difference between a winning and losing move. The gamers private network, powered by WT Fast, reduces your average game latency and help to reduce flux spikes. And packet loss with your connection. You enjoy a faster, smoother, and much more responsive. Missing a space right there. Connection with virtually all MMO games. WT Fast will update regularly. Please follow these steps to keep your product firmware up to date. Open web browser and type HTTP forward slash or colon forward slash forward slash router.asus.com Use router login name and password by default to enter Asus WRT GUI Go to Advanced Settings Administration Firmware Upgrade Click Check button Follow the steps to upgrade product firmware. Mm -hmm. You can also download the latest firmware from http colon forward slash forward slash support .asus.com. Support your router model or search your route search your router model and upgrade product firmware manually. Steps to use WTFast. Click Game Boost in Asus WRT interface. Create or create a free WT Fast account via https forward slash w or colon forward slash forward slash www.wtfast.com log in WT Fast account and game boost create a default or device profile you want to use WT Fast GPN in WT Fast rules list Enable GPN profile before you launch the game. Select a GPN server according to your location or select auto and apply settings. Okay, all of that done. Let's see what we got. First off, we got the actual router itself. Pretty substantially thick. I think it's because, yep, the 
bottom of it. So that's just how it folds in on itself. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Here are our four antenna. They are a satin finish with an accented gold paint. None of this is metal. This is all plastic, except for right here. It's the only part that's metal. Now these do bend up to here. So you can go from here up to here. And it does have a locking click area that it goes to. From here we have VIP warranty note uh, VIP member warranty notice and a safety guide. And that was underneath our antenna. Under here. Here is our power brick. does have a laptop style connection. The power brick is not very heavy. Here's the size of the pin connector on the power brick. This is the same kind of tri connector that Asus uses on some of their laptops. Here we have power cable and it is appears to be a three pin we'll check that in a bit here's the network cable included with the router let's go ahead and take a look here Set that down so I can be able to focus on this. Give me just a bit, guys. Okay, so this is a 26 gauge cable, and it is just a Cat5e. So, if you want to get the best performance out of your router, I would definitely upgrade this cable to at least a Cat6, if not a Cat7, so that you have a higher bandwidth flow going to your router from your cable modem. I use Cat7, and it's 
always been really good for me. But I did get an order put in for a Cat 8 cable to be able, that's flat um, and sleeved to be able to use with this router. So just a heads up guys, this is your basic kind of cable that you would get from the cable company. Here is our power cable. And it does actually have its own Velcro uh, cable management sleeve. Let's see how long this part of the cable is. In addition to that, also has tape on here. So I've got my trusty, not rusty Radio Shack mini driver that I use for cutting things to cut this tape free. And it's just a, a sleeve, it's not actually tape but just the plastic that was around the cable. There was only tape right along that edge. So we are looking at about a meter long on this power cable, comparative to the actual power block and adapter, how long that part of the cable is. which that's about two meters long. So in total, you have about three meters worth of cable for how far this can be from the outlet. So that's not too shabby. Let's check and see on the actual connection here. It is a triple plug. So it has a grounding plug on it. And it is coated too, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and check this plug in here. Does it satisfyingly give you a stop? Yes. see how much force it takes to pull it out. I'm holding it by this part. So it looks like unless you were directly trying to pull it out, it's not going to come out easily with indirect force. So if you're wanting to pull it out, yes, you can push one finger and get it to just slide off. But indirect, it takes quite a bit of force. I would say that takes at least 35 pounds of force. Possibly 40. 
I'm not saying, oh, let's hang bowling balls off of this thing and see if it'll hold the weight with the connection alone. I'm just saying, as far as like, oh, you trip over it or something like that and it unplugs or not. You would have to be, you know, not scooting your feet, but actually in a good pace or jaunt to be able to have it actually unlock. So we have our cable management here. And we're going to see how well it works for everything. Works out pretty well. Let's open up the actual router now. Take a look around on it. Again, not metal, just a uh, satin pl uh, plastic finish. It's got a good amount of venting on it, though. It's cool that you can turn on and off LEDs, so this does have LEDs on it. So here's our power button. Now, I like that they're actually labeled. You can see power, reset, WPS, antenna, antenna, your WAN, and your LAN, USB 3. And front USB 3. So that's pretty cool. Let's see if this has a uh, has a satisfying click to it. The hinge will break off if you have kids. You wouldn't want them playing around with it. All right, let's go ahead and plug it in just so you can see the LEDs on it. I'm not going to plug it in and connect stuff to it. I'm just plugging it in so you can see the LEDs of how it's implemented and such. I mean, you can hear it starting up.
power button was already depressed, by the way, just so you're aware. So when you turn it on, you can hear it. Kind of uh, surprised that the so red means no internet, but kind of surprised that the uh, the actual button on it for RGB for the LEDs. Okay, so it may not be RGB LEDs. It may just be LEDs on or off. Yeah, that's what it is. So to turn it off, you just tap it one second. And to turn it on, it's about a second and a half to two seconds. Or it's mainly about where I'm pressing. Let's check and see if that's what it is. Yeah, it's where I'm pressing. So you want to press right where it says LED. And it's one second on, one second off. One second on, one second off. But, uh, yeah, guys. I'm pretty impressed with this thing. The size of it is not too large and obstructive, where the, you know, similar types of Asus and Netgear products for gamers and high bandwidth are, like, massive. This thing is... Pretty low profile. Like, I think it's maybe twice as wide as my old um, D Link. Uh, I think it was a D O L, or not D O L, a D Link um, 6100 way back in the day. It was a, uh, a Wi Fi B and G for port. And I'm. I mean, the only thing about this thing is if you don't get it on sale, you're looking at $350. So that's the biggest downside of this thing is the price. But we'll see how performance goes with it whenever I can get things switched out after I receive some other PC parts that I'm waiting on to arrive to do a build, tear down, and rebuild and optimize things after uh, liquid cooling parts come out for the graphics card and stuff. But, uh, yeah, if you like the video, give a, a like or consider subscribing. Know whenever I have anything else being posted, available to watch. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll try and get back as soon as I have an answer, as soon as I see and can respond to questions. But, guys... This is Arbor Knight, your Tekken Games Crusader. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have a good night. Good day. Take care. We'll see you later.